This week in Orlando, Florida, question from our guy Anatoly about dual voice speakers and regular paired speakers. And this comes up a lot. So let's get price out of the way because that's always one of the big questions here. When you look at a dual voice coil speaker versus a paired speaker, it's usually about a 20 to 30% savings. It's not priced out like an individual speaker. It's built to sound like two speakers in one. So it gives you a full stereo experience. So keeping the math simple, if it were $100 for a pair of speakers or two speakers, it would be 70 to $60 for a single speaker, a dual voice coil speaker. So there is a savings there, but it's not 50%, if that makes sense. The real reason to do a dual voice coil speaker is because the space is small. A, a small bathroom, a laundry room, a shower, or if you're doing something like a common area, like hallways and foyers, where people are gonna be walking through and they want an even sound, then you can use dual voice coil speakers very much like you would see at a park like Disneyland, where as you walk throughout the room, the hallways, that you get this even blanket of sound. The same's true on really big porches or decks that wrap around a house. If it's just a small covered deck where you're always gonna be at the same spot, maybe outside near a fireplace, you're usually gonna use a pair of speakers. But if it's a big deck that wraps all the way around, it's common to see dual voice coil speakers spread throughout that space. And from an amplification standpoint, it's the same. It's wired up with a left and a right. So it requires the same amount of amplification whether you're using a dual voice coil speaker or a pair of speakers. So if you wanna save money, that's great, but the real reason to do it is application-based. Hopefully that helps. If you've got other questions, ask them in the comments. We'll get them answered soon.